I love my costume for this episode. I felt a bit like um, like Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> like the kind of floaty dress and the the, the coat and all of the all of the layers were a bit of a faff to put on, <laughs> but I, I did really enjoy wearing it. So what are the rules? The rules. Got me rules. I thought the costume was nice. Yes, the doctor doesn't usually bother changing to suit the period. It was decided that he should do it this time. Perhaps they just wanted to get me into a Dickensian outfit or a top hat. It's a bit of a mishmash because it's not really a period costume. He's still wearing Doc Martens <laughs> and, uh, uh, and his regular coat and whatnot. But yeah, it's a nice little change. So the first day it was raining like buckets and um, my costume has a feather that sort of goes like that. Um, and by the end of the day, the feather was, was kind of here. So it was just like, just dangling around every time I moved my head. I could just see this like feather sort of in the periphery. And I'm like, this feather is totally stealing the scene from me, man. I'm like, get out of this feather. And costume girls would like blow dry it. So it wouldn't be too, too soggy, too kind of sad and disheveled looking. I mean, what a fun job you actually get to be in a diving suit. You know, I never thought I'd see myself in a diving suit. The Victorian diving suits, well, they look amazing, but they were really heavy. Like, re like it was like, like your dad sitting on your shoulders. So your shoulders would ache from, uh, after a day, sort of carrying this, the weight of that and, and the helmet. Kind of claustrophobic inside that helmet as well. You know, there's a piece of glass here and there's, everything's there and you can't really hear anything. What? I think by the end of it, we got used to it. Did you say something? <laughs>